This is Dubious Code, and we're going through some Manum tutorials on some of the different shapes they have. So I'm not an expert on Manum. I'm getting started and learning it. And I want to grind through some of these different shapes and understand them. So this is what, whatever this is, RRZ Villa it has pretty good docs here on Manum. So I'm going to grind through some of these and, you know, see if I can understand it. So first one, arc. Um, I made, oh, by the way, I work at Google, but this is not related to Google. Um, so I have an arc, create an arc, self.play, create arc. And I'll go ahead and play Manum. And we get it creating a 90 degree arc here. So presumably there are parameters um, for controlling that. I know I have things like standard things like color equals red, stroke width equals I don't know, 30, that control, I know the color works, I think the stroke width is going to work. Yeah, so now I have a big fat line um, and a red line. Let's see what else we have controlling, okay, radius, arc center, angle, start angle, okay. This is arc again. Radius equals three. Angle equals math dot radians. 180. So 180 degrees with a radius of three. Arc. And start angle equals math.radians 90. So we should start at the top, rotate 180 degrees, and be a little bigger. That's what I think will happen. But we don't have Randians. All right. All right, let's see. Okay, great. So that did what we expect. The only thing I didn't, the only parameter I didn't use there is uh, arc center. So instead of start angle, then maybe I'll put in arc center equals uh, two zero zero. So we'll start a little bit farther to the right, and we'll also start on the. We won't have rotated it. Yeah. So now instead of starting at the center, we're starting. We've slid everything to the right. Okay, well, that is an arc. Arc between points, probably pretty similar. So this, have we have a start and an end. Arc equals arc between points. Start equals zero, 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 and equals two, two, zero. So it should go between those points. Defaults to 90 degrees again, but we can change that with angle. Angle equals math dot radians. 330 degrees. So it should be most of a circle between those two points and we'll get a little bit of an opening. Yeah. I wonder how you flip that maybe negative I wonder what happens if I give that a negative answer negative yeah okay so negative makes a negative angle and I can flip it and go the other direction okay that's pretty good
Curved Arrow. Inherits from Arc Between Points, which you just did. Start point, end point, and angle. All right, so that's basically this. We'll do 180 degrees there. Curved Arrow. We should see basically the same thing except with arrow. Start point, end point. Oh. So start end, it's start point, and end point. Okay, so we have a not a it's not a double arrow, it's a single arrow. And I think negative. Once again, make it go the other direction. Okay, curved arrow, pretty good. Curved double arrow. I wonder what this is going to be. Uh, obviously, it's going to be the exact same thing, except with an arrow on both uh, both sides. Looks like it just makes the first arrow and then sticks a head on the end. We can make it faster with run time equals 0 0.2. We can make it slower. Defaults, I think the runtime defaults 1.0. All right, so we have curved arrow, circle, radius and arc center. Let's do a circle and dot. Circle equals circle, radius. Three, uh, two, and dot equals dot. Radius equals one. Arc center equals. I assume this has an arc center. Or is it just center? Point. Center the dot point. Point equals I'll set I'll make this one next separately. Circle dot. I think the difference being that a dot is filled and a circle is hollow. Could make them at the same time. By putting both in the play, I think I'll take any number of animations in the play. That's a circle and a dot. All right, small dot. It's a dot except the default radius is set the default small dot radius. I wonder what that is. Dot equals small dot. That means we should take out the radius because we're defaulting. Ah, but it's small. Oh man, that dot is small. They should have warned you. Small dot has been deprecated and will be removed in the future. Use dot instead. 
All right, so don't use small dot. Ellipse with height arc center. equals width width equals five height equals one two arc center equals zero 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 I saw a pretty cool video where somebody uh, made the reflections off, or, off of an ellipse, and I think they did it with Manum. Uh, somehow they also, oh, that needs to be in as a list. They showed the focal points of the ellipse with this in giving, they probably just knew the math. Hey, that made a circle. Ah, because I didn't make it a All right, there we go. So if you knew, if you had the equations for your ellipse, you could probably program this in. Uh, I'm not 100% certain of the ellipse math. Inherit some arc. Represents an annular sector. I actually don't know what an annular sector is. Inner radius, outer radius, start angle, angle, arc center. All right, we'll try it. Okay, what have we got? Inner radius, outer radius. Okay, let's see what that does. I don't know how to spell, apparently. N-U-L-A-R with an A. It's filling in this and then I get that this is the inner radius of three and that's basically a curve. Maybe I can squeak that with some parameters. Alright, what have we got? Start angle, angle, arc center. Let's make the outer radius 2, which makes it more like default. Yeah, I mean, it's making this inner thing and then the outer thing. It's kind of a... Not what I would have expected it to do. But that's what it does. I guess if I don't want to see that, I can... Instead of create it, play create, I can say something to add, and then maybe I'll wait. Wait. Two. Maybe I don't add the create, maybe I just self add sector. Yeah, that just creates it. Although I think in, I could also do something else like 
I have them doing create, but I know there are other animations like fade in. So that might be more useful for things like that give me this unexpected thing. All right, this is dubious code. We've gotten through what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these out of, I don't know, 30. So I'm gonna stop here for now and I'll go through next more in the next video. Thanks for watching.